Hey there guys, Paul here from TheEngineeringMindset.com. In this video, we're going to be learning all about density. We'll look at what density means, why it is important, and how to calculate it in both metric and imperial units. So what is density? Density is a measurement of how much mass is within a given volume. In the metric system, we measure density with the units of kilogram per cubic meter. And in the imperial unit system, we typically use the units of pounds per cubic feet. Each material has a different density. The difference depends on the mass of the material's atoms, and this varies with the number of protons and neutrons which the atom contains. It also depends on how the material's atoms are packed together. If the atoms of a material are stored very neatly and closer together, the more atoms will be able to fit into the volume. Since atoms have mass, the more mass you can fit into the volume, the more the material will weigh. Knowing the density of materials is very useful. Designers will estimate the weight of a product by multiplying the volume by the density of different materials. This is very useful if a product had to be designed within a certain weight limit. You can also identify a material just by measuring its volume and also its mass. So how do we calculate density? Well, it's very simple. All we have to do is divide the mass of an object by its volume. And for this, we'll use the formula rho equals m divided by v. The Greek symbol of rho is usually used to represent density. The m equals the mass that the material weighs and the v represents the volume of the material. So let's look at an example. You have a large solid metal block but you're unsure what material it is made from. You're considering maybe it's stainless steel or maybe it's aluminum or aluminium if you're in the US. You measure the block and you find that it has a volume of 2 cubic meters, equivalent to 70.63 cubic feet. You then weigh it and you find it has a total mass of 5,400 kilograms, equivalent to 11,905 pounds. Now that we have the measurements from the block, we can drop these numbers straight into the formula which we saw earlier, that being rho equals m divided by v. Now rho is the density which uses the units of kilograms per cubic meter or pounds per cubic feet. m is the mass and that uses the units of kilograms or pounds and V is the volume which uses the units of cubic meters or cubic feet. So if we drop the numbers from the measurements into the equation, then on the metric side, we're gonna have 5,400 kilograms divided by two cubic meters, and that will give us the answer of 2,700 kilograms per cubic meters. And then on the imperial side, we'll have 11,905 pounds divided by 70.63 cubic feet, and that will give us the answer of 168.55 pounds per cubic feet. Now, if we look up the density of these two materials, then we should see that aluminium has a density of approximately 2,705 kilograms per cubic meter, equivalent to 168.9 pounds per cubic feet. And stainless steel has a density of approximately 7,982 kilograms per cubic meter, equivalent to 498.3 pounds per cubic feet. So the block must therefore be made from aluminium. Now, some important notes to remember regarding the density of fluids. The density of solids remains almost constant. However, the density of a fluid will vary depending on pressure and temperature. If a fluid is heated, then its mass will remain constant, but the volume will increase. This means that the density will decrease. If a fluid is compressed, the mass remains the same, but the volume decreases, so the density will increase. An exception to this is liquid such as water. You can't compress water in its liquid state unless you use incredible amounts of pressure, but even then it doesn't compress much. Additionally, when you freeze water, it expands so its volume increases, meaning its density decreases. This gives ice buoyancy and allows it to float because it is less dense than the liquid water. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped you and you enjoyed it. If so, then please don't forget to like, subscribe and share and also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Check out our website, theengineeringmindset.com.